everyone! I have this book review, Dark Gold by Christine Feehan. Now I do have to say, this was not my particular favorite book, only because of Aiden. He's definitely not my favorite Carpathian. Like, Mikhail and Jacques, I do like them, but they... They were more accepting of their independent woman, whereas Aiden, Aiden just, like, was very dominant, chauvinistic, macho man, all of that. And I, I don't like that. I don't like that in my man. I don't like that in the men. Like, I, I only like a certain amount of it, which is what Jacques and Mikhail were. But they also were able to let their women be as independent as they want. They wanted to be and they needed to be. But in here, like, yeah. The, gen like, uh, the general story, it was okay. And I am going to keep this book just because it's, it's a good part of the story. And also, you know, if I read something back in, in like, in the later books, I'm like, who the hell are these people? How are they together? Like, why are they together? You know, I find out in books like this. And, you know, it it, it has other characters in here. Like, Gr Grigori uh, makes an appearance in this book. And, you know, you've got stuff like that where, like, you know, it's sort of like, uh, this character is going to be in the next book. Or, you know, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I definitely did not like Aiden. There were only small parts of Aiden that I liked, but his chauvinistic dominance was just like, no, you have to let your, like, and especially the way he handled the way Alexandra, after he rescued her from a vampire that was nearly turning her, and he helped her, like, because she's his life mate, and that he helped her to become Carpathian, and that he was, he bungled the whole thing horribly. So we had, like, only in the, like, the last five chapters, where, where can I find a chapter? Here we go. Oop, that's a little too, like, uh, like, from, like, chapter 15 to, like, chapter 18, so, like, 15, 15. Like, the last five four to five chapters which is like a third of the book and like a small third like it was very annoying how he bungled ever like the whole handling of this thing it's just very annoying now the only thing i did like about this book really like is alexandra you know her reaction to everything her personality her character all of her i liked her and I liked Christine's way of portraying her as like, you know, if a normal human being, like any one of us, got turned to like a vampire, but in this book they're Carpathians, because whatever, you know, we would react, pretty much react the way that Alexandra did, where she was like, oh my god, I'm like, in this book, you know, you've got Carpathians and vampires and all that she knows apparently is the vampire side like the bad side of being this blood sucker so you know was terrified and because she also has a little brother that she's looked after for her 23 years she, they, they it does say her age she's about 23 so uh, they lost their parents at a young age so she's been looking after her brother and she's terrified of like doing something bad to him and like losing herself as becoming this and as i said aiden bungled the whole thing of like easing her into this telling her about this stuff and all this and basically he his don his chauvinistic dominance or dom whatever his chauvinistic side was like you were to stay home you are not allowed to do anything i have all of this money so you could just stay home and do not do anything and just it was also bad and didn't explain it didn't let her know like this is what our other Carpathian women are like but because you were here it was like it was annoying I could this book could have been better now I do want to keep this mainly because well I don't know I don't know mainly because of part of the story the series and all that I do I do recommend reading this mainly because 
of Alexandra. She just like, she just basically repre really represents us in our way of like being introduced into that world and it's also a good representation of the males of this society. Not all the males, but some of the males that, because some of them are obviously going to be like this dominant chauvinistic macho man from the middle ages of like, you are my woman, you are, even though I will be providing your happiness and your health, you're not allowed to do anything that makes you happy or all that such. <laughs> but, you know, it does get a little better. He's still like, <sighs> I want to punch him in the face because like, you're being a fucking asshole and you shouldn't be doing this. Like, our men have like, evolved from in this society to not be like that, so. Mm. Like, even other books that I read, like other medieval type books, like, the next book I'm going to show you later is like some of the some of those books I've read they may live in that type of age where the women should just be there for sex and uh, shouldn't be allowed to do anything dangerous and all that such but some of those men are not like that they're very accepting of their women learning to do like dangerous stuff but being in a somewhat dangerous situation not a complete dangerous situation and don't treat them basically as like a breeder. Like basically you're, you are supposed to breed me men. Breed me men, woman. But I really only, rec I don't recommend it for the, re the love relationship because there's not much of one. And I don't, I had a hard time believing that they were really becoming one with each other. And like when they did, like when she did finally fully accept, like I, I'm, you know, in love with him and all of that. It didn't feel believable. Sorry, my hair is weird. Crazy. But anyway, it didn't feel fully believable, that part. But, you know, like the first two thirds of the book, it's very believable of like how he's reacting and how she's reacting. <clears throat> but Christine should have made him like, I don't like more like towards like the halfway point of the book, not at like, you know, the beginning of the third, the like the third part of the book. It's just really annoying. And yeah, that was this book and my thing about it. And I also, but the uh, and then another thing I really did like is the fact that her sister. Joshua, I like that sort of like it, he sort of bring helps to bring that humanization to Aiden and you know, keeping that humanization with Alexandra. I like that little aspect of the book. So yeah, there's that's this book. I don't, I recommend it for those, for Alexandra's point of view and how she reacts to become, being in part of this world. And now I get to read this book. This is the library book of Seize the Dawn by Heather Graham. Now actually this is by Shannon Drake, but for some reason at some point, you know, they, she changed her name or this is her real name. I don't know, but this is book three of the Graham, where is it? The Graham novel series. Sorry, my battery decided to die, but I was finished talking about that book anyway. I, <laughs> Well, not this book, because I was going to read the back of this book. That was what I was going to do at the end of the other one. But as I ran out of battery, yeah, so I'm going to do it now. Bold and beautiful, Lady Eleanor of Clarn, sole heir to her ancestral lands, chooses to marry an aging French noble rather than Edward I's choice of a brutal knight. To preserve Clarn and defeat the rebellious Scots who killed her father, she would gladly give her hand to the devil himself. But when the fiery Highland outlaw, Brendan Graham, takes her hostage, he also inspires her deepest desires. Now, as Eleanor is swept away from her beloved land and into an arranged marriage, she will be surrounded by treachery and accused of murder. Only one man can rescue her from the torture and death that lie ahead. 
the man who should remain her greatest enemy, yet holds her heart and her very life in his hands. Okay, you're a little bit confusing. Yeah. And I'm also very sad because no library had Conquer the Night, which is book two. I'm gonna try looking again, but I doubt, like, well, well like, just typing it into my, the search bar on the library site, but I'm not gonna try looking, doing interlibrary loan because that's what they told me. It's like, you can't find it. And there's this part here. Rescued or enslaved? Safe. The ship tossed, her head reeled. She was still damp from her unsuccessful escape overboard and twisting with the fever. The door of the ship's cabin suddenly burst open. He stood there. She saw his face as she had in, the, had in dreams. He filled the door frame, his head taller than the clearing his shoulders spanning it side to side. He had changed his wet clothing, and a hated woolen tartan was once again over his shoulders, held there by a silver Celtic brooch. Was she dreaming, or was this real? There was light. Morning had come, but the light was like mist, and she knew then that they still rode the storm. Come with me, lady. Now, he commanded. The devil had come, she thought, in the flesh. Older... Grimer, grimmer, harder, I, vengeance had found her. But she smiled, for whether he were dream or real, she could not obey. She tried to op she tried to open her mouth and speak. She hadn't the strength. Stubborn wench, he swore, and came to her. I'm trying not to leave you locked here in the midst of this tempest. Is there anyone to whom you listen? Any point at which you stop being such a stubborn fool? He reached for her, and she couldn't fight him. He swore suddenly, You're still soaked to the bone. Ice and fire in one. His arms wrapped around her. He lifted her, and carried her, steady despite the rock and sway of the ship. They left the cabin. The misty light fell more fully upon them from the stairway to the upper deck. Then a flash of lightning ripped through the fullness of the sky. It created an illumination like a burst of pure white fire. Thunder roared. The sea meant to kill them. The wind, the rain, the thunder, the lightning. God's great hand fell upon them all. Her head fell against the chest of her greatest enemy. Darkness descended. The heavens continued to roar. Before the time, Eleanor knew no more. Well, that's a, a preview that still doesn't inspire much. <laughs> so... Yeah, there's a prologue, an epilogue. What? Are, how many? How many actual actual chapters do we have? It's a pretty big book. Twenty three. So we got twenty five chapters here, and there's more. See, do I see? Do I seriously have to read this chronologic chronological thing? I don't want to. I already did before. Oh my god, you're cruel and horrible. Or maybe not. I don't know. No, I do. I do. I have to read it. Oh, you're just horrible. I have to read more. This is... I have to read more. I don't want to read that. You should have a preview of my book, which is Night Triumph, which is the next book in this series. Instead, they give you a preview of the last book in the series. Yeah. I, I doubt I will buy this book. But, yeah, that's that book. So, yeah, that's the end of this weird, you know, complicated. Maybe not so complicated, actually. But, anyway, this is the end of this book review, and I hope you liked it. If you did, you can hit that like button down there. And you can leave comments of how you, if you read dark gold how you liked it if you liked aiden savage i personally didn't just because yeah yeah not a huge fan uh hopefully uh the next book will be better i won't be getting to that until after this library book and my personal book because my personal book is book number four after book number three so yes i won't be able to get to the dark carpathian series until after Night Triumph. Yes, you can leave your comments down below how you liked Dark Gold, this entire series. Who's your favorite male of Carpathian? As always, mine is Rosvan. I love Rosvan. 
I don't really have a favorite female. Though I could, I, I guess I was saying that Alexandra was one of my favorite females just because like she was like a true, like a really true representation of us and how we would, some of us would feel of like becoming a vampire and stuff like that. Just don't be negative, don't be nasty in the comments because we do not need that in the world, okay? We don't. And if this is the first time you're watching my video, please hit that big red subscribe button down there. Buy my picture for more book reviews, hauls, let's plays, because that's what I'm going to be doing. Not games in general, but let's plays. Unboxing, unbagging, because sometimes come in a bubble wrap manila envelope or a plastic bag wrap thingy. Vlogmas, random vlogs, and random random video. I have no idea what categorize. Hey, I'm gonna continue watching YouTube videos. I gotta continue watching the you videos take forever long to upload onto the tower that I got at this point of this video and eventually start reading this book because that's, I gotta read it because I got it Tuesday and there we go, that's better. It took me longer to finish Dark Gold only because Saturday and Sunday was more like, more focused on hanging out with Manny and um, doing other stuff that so I wasn't able to fully read. Also, I think it's because of Aiden. Not a huge fan of Aiden. But yeah. And yeah, today shower night, so obviously. And I stay home today, so there's no makeup on my face. So yeah, I was hoping to do another Let's Play tonight, but apparently that's not going to happen. Because I still have 282 clips because some videos have like multiple parts to them so i hope you liked this video if you did uh yes and hit that like button so yeah anyway i'll see you all in my next video bye everyone